to Canada on Friday, and the competition was ushered in with its usual pomp and circumstance. An Olympic-like ceremony took place inside Commonwealth Stadium, an event attended by Britain's Prince Edward and Canada's Prime Minister, Jean Chrétien. The first gold medal of the 2001 Worlds was awarded on Friday, and it went to Kazagni Albera, who won a sensational finish to the men's marathon. The Ethiopian Olympic gold medal winner from the Sydney Games hit the tape just one second in front of Kenya's Simon de Watts. Britain's Olympic heptathlon champion Denise Lewis withdrew from the Edmonton track and field spectacular on Friday, complaining of a painful stomach ailment. Meanwhile, it's full steam ahead for one of America's sprint sensations. Marion Jones is under the microscope at these world championships, but as Phil Jones reports, that's nothing new. Whoever's camera is this, I'm using up all your film. Particularly as an American athlete, we, we try and get as much exposure as possible. And we're saying, please write about us when we run a race. Please, please put our meat on television. And so because I'm asking all that, I can't tell the media, all right, now when things are not going as they should, you know, don't cover it. You can't do that. Coverage in good times and in bad, but more of the latter lately for Olympic golden gal Marion Jones who stood by her drug-accused man in Sydney last year. I am here pretty much to show my complete support for my husband. But this year, Jones decided the athletic match wasn't made in heaven and announced last month that she and shot putt Goliath C.J. Hunter were to divorce. The experience in Sydney and what happened in Sydney in no way um, led to what has happened with C.J. and I, and I just want to make that clear. Um, you know, I still support CJ 100% in terms of his innocence um, from that situation and will remain, you know, remain a supporter of his. Um, but there are other things off the track that we just weren't seeing eye and eye on. And we, we, we made a mutual decision that this was best for both of us. Now Jones eyes only world championship gold. She says the focus is back on the track, if not the field. She'll attempt a sprint double in Edmonton, Canada, but will skip the long jump. The year 2000 was quite long and rigorous, and we decided that I really need to take a break in something. We've heard all the criticisms in terms of my long jump over the past couple of years, and no, I'm not forgetting about the long jump, and no, I haven't given up on it. We just decided to take a break. Her sprint opponents could do with Jones giving them a break. She last lost a 100-meter race four years ago, and apart from pulling up injured in the last World Championship semis, has been similarly dominant over 200 meters since 1995. Quite staggering. But an air of relative mediocrity has tinged some of Jones's wins this season. In other words, she isn't annihilating the field. I haven't been running as fast as I have in the past, but I've been winning, and, and it's funny how you, how you spoil people. In the beginning, I would win a race, and everybody would be like, oh my gosh, she won the race. Now if I win a race and I don't win by six, seven, eight meters, there's a problem. Joan says there's no lasting problem off the track, causing her to run slower on it. Refuting claims from some who, she says, insists she's not running fast because she's not happy. Quite the contrary. The 26-year-old athlete declares she's enjoying herself and her life and is eager for more success. Far from resting on the laurels of a record-setting triple gold, double bronze medal display in Sydney. People, unfortunately, sometimes look at the big picture and think that the Olympics, you know, that's, yeah, that's every athlete's dream, but there's so much more. You know, I've yet to, to break a world record. Um, I've yet to win a 200 meter world, world title. I've yet to win a long jump in a major competition anywhere in the world. <laughs> um, and I think ultimately, um, I've only taken a couple steps in, in terms of perhaps getting the title of one of the greatest ever. Jones's targets remain ambitious ones. And Edmonton could be just the start of more of that good back page coverage she craves for her running, rendering the front page analysis of her loves and life distinctly in the realms of yesterday's news. I'm Phil Jones. In a footnote to this story, the General Secretary of the International Amateur Athletics Federation said on Friday that C.J. Hunter begged officials to conceal four positive drug tests in order not to upset his former wife, Marion Jones, at last year's Olympic Summer Games. World sport is only just beginning.